Hello guys, uh, so it's it's been a while since I've made a video, but I was thinking bringing back uh, coming in with an unboxing. Now this is this is actually kind of a weird car. They is actually isn't over here in Europe um, in America. It only sells in Europe, but I'm hoping that they do bring it to America because it's a really cool car. <clears throat> but getting back to that. Uh, later I'm um, just here to show you that I just got Titanfall uh, the day after it came out for Xbox One uh, pretty dumb of me because I don't even have an Xbox One yet but my friend does so I just played over there and I really can't wait to play it um, and yeah so uh, I got a few different things to choose from to pretty much open up this box I don't know. Uh, I think I think I think I'll go with this. This military knife. Um. So, I, I think you guys will like it. It is kind of a weird car, but uh, I think it's really cool. Sorry about that. So, um. <clears throat> So I do do this model car thing on for YouTube, but I also do, I, I mean, I want to start uh, doing video games. So I, I will be keep on doing, like, cars and stuff, but um, just to tell you, I will be going into video games also sooner or later. I, I just need to get kind of an in-game recorder. I have to start getting different equipment in order to do that. Um, and, I mean, I, I do have some more stuff to choose from until I do that. So, I have a lot more cards to show to you guys. And it's not like I'm running out of them. I do have plenty to do that with. Uh, the outside of it is just a normal dream diecast. I mean, dream, I mean, diecast model car, wholesale box. Um, and opening this box up, uh, you just have bubble wrap in here. And this is a pretty rare car at the same time. It's it's very different from any other car I've gotten. It's really well. It's uh, it's for a special event, but I'm just opening it up early just to show you guys what it is, and now you'll see what it is. It is. Mercedes CLS 500 shooting brake wagon. I think the CLS is one of the most beautiful Mercedes cars ever. So why not get in a wagon? Because it's really cool having a wagon. I mean, actually, my dad has an E55 wagon that has been modified to over 650 horsepower and does like a 10 flat quarter mile so because wagons have very good weight distribution like 51 in the back and 49 in the front that's what his wagon is so um, this is by Norev 118th scale collection on the uh, front it just shows a picture of it and who it's by and then it says that's a high quality model right there <clears throat> On this side, it just says Norev. On the back, it just has it all closed up, the model. On the top, it has it, everything opening up. I mean, you can do the trunk, all four doors open up, which I think is really cool. And then on the bottom, everybody knows it just shows, like, every little thing in multiple languages about the car and the company that made it. So how about we open it up? Because I'm 
really wanting to see what this thing looks like. I've never had, this is my first pretty high quality Mercedes model. Mercedes has beautiful lights, so I'm pretty sure this will more of those fantastic lights on here. Opening it up. And you always want to check what it looks like. Hopefully Norav doesn't make it so you have to undo screws, and of course it does. So, I'm going to get these done. First off. So, I, the next model that I'm saving up for is the Rolls-Royce Phantom. And I honestly love Rolls Royce models. I mean, they're pretty much my favorites because of the detail that uh, Kyosho puts into those models. Like, if anybody that watches this has a Rolls Royce Ghost, I mean, that, it's absolutely amazing. Like, that car, especially, like, you, you see details on other cars, and you're like, I mean, you, you guess and see us how it. Like, they even get it that small in size. And then, you go to the Rolls Royce, and you can actually open up, like, com little tiny compartments inside the actual model. And you're like, how the heck? I mean, that's crazy. But, I mean, I saw how cool Mercedes cars are. I'm like, hey, why don't I just start a collection of those? Seeing that, um, I already have a few of them, but I don't have any, like, majorly expensive Mercedes model cars. Why is this not coming out? Uh, so. I'm just like, hey, uh, just pick some expensive Mercedes and go after them. And I'm like, hey, how about we start off with something that's rare, and to even make it more rare, since I have a wagon, I know what it's like to have a rare car. Bam. Get a wagon. It's just olive green color. Wow, that is really nice looking. Yeah, it's an olive green color. Um... Let's take it out. I don't really know how to. This is kind of hard. Here. Hold on a second. I might as well get that out. Now we can take a closer look at it. That that is pretty sweet looking. I cannot wait to do a review on this. I mean, just because it's a wagon, it makes it cool. And they only have these over in Europe. I love the lights on this. Let's just look at those for a second. I mean, that's cool. I, I do like the color. It's kind of a olive green. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty much the only color that they actually had. I mean, let's just see what color the interior is. Ugh. Oh, there's tape. Yeah, so, I mean, you guys can tell me of how much you like wagons. I know no one's going to say anything good, because no one likes wagons besides my family, pretty much. Um, I'm going to take a quick look at this interior color.
Yeah, that's good detail. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, like, comment, um, and subscribe. Bye, guys.